Hello YouTubers, what does Akis have for you today? Uh, Akis has a very chewy, special, creamy, easy to make brown for you today. It's based on peanut butter, orange, and you just need a bowl and follow my instructions. So let's start by preheating our oven to 180 degrees Celsius, set to fun. Now, I need a bowl, place a glass or metallic bowl over a pot of simmering water. This is called a Ben Marie. Break up 100 grams of dark chocolate couverture in the bowl. Stir until it melts completely and add 150 grams of peanut butter or tahini. Stir just to combine and remove bowl from the heat. Add 150 ml orange juice, 50 ml brandy or rum and the grated zest of two oranges. Stir until incorporated. Now, in this bowl we have all the wet ingredients. We have to set it aside for at least 15 to 20 minutes to let it cool. And let's prepare another bowl with the dry ingredients. Add 150 grams of all-purpose flour, 150 grams icing sugar, half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon ground cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. Set it aside and chop 150 grams of dark chocolate couverture into small pieces. It is always important to coat the pieces of chocolate in flour before you add them to any wet butter or else they all will sink to the bottom of the pan. Now it's time to combine the two bowls, the wet ingredients with the... Uh, no, the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients or the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. Uh, it doesn't actually matter, just don't uh, over mix it. Stir until all of the ingredients are completely combined. Pour the mixer into a 20 by 30 cm baking pan that has been lined with parchment paper. Let the ends of the parchment hand over the sides of the pan to help you remove the brownie easily. Now, you have to make sure that you use 20 by 30 uh, cm baking pan. If you use a larger baking pan like this, you have to double the recipe. Uh, so, for this recipe, you need a 20 by 30 centimeter pan. Now it's time to bake it. So, now bake for 20 minutes. And while our uh, brownies are baking, let's prepare the frosting. Place a small saucepan over high heat. Add 120 ml of soy milk or almond milk. 50 grams of icing sugar and 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Break up 150 grams of dark chocolate couverture into small pieces. As soon as the mixer comes to a boil, remove from the heat and add the chocolate. Set aside for 1 minute without whisking. After 1 minute, whisk to incorporate. Add 100 grams of peanut butter or tahini and stir until completely combined. Your ganache frosting is ready. Our brownie has cooled and it's very, very sexy. Can you see that? Well, we will make it sexier by putting the ganache over the brownie and then sprinkle with some peanuts and then we will cut a beautiful piece to serve. Pour the ganache frosting over the cool brownie. Spread it and make it smooth over the surface with a spatula. Sprinkle with salted peanuts and set it aside at room temperature for two hours or refrigerate it for one hour. And it's time to cut this bad boy into pieces. It is so sexy, so creamy, so chewy, so chocolatey. Um, um, it's the perfect brownie. We have to unmold first, cut into pieces and serve on a dish. And I think that I'm making a skyscraper of brownies. Look at that. Chewy brownie topped with a rich chocolate ganache. Who can resist to this dessert? This brownie is amazing. This brownie doesn't need any mixer. This brownie doesn't need any cooking skills. Uh, this uh, brownie needs uh, a lot of love for what you're doing. Uh, it's a dairy free, uh, it's so healthy, so delicious, so chewy, so creamy, so nice, so chocolatey, uh, so peanutty, so amazing. Uh, I will try one piece. 
Uh, but before I try, I will tell you to subscribe to my channel, make comments underneath the video, uh, thumbs up for the video, share the video with your friends. And after I will try, my director will shut down this video, okay? That's a promise. No comments necessary.